Okay, hello everyone. My name is Alejandro and this is me playing Slice and Dice. What I'm trying to do now is that I'm trying to get to complete his achievement which is which asked me to finish the entire run within 30 or uh, turns. So I've tried this uh, two times before. I mean, I've, I've, made, I've made several attempts before, but I had two recordings of it. So what I'm mostly doing is that I'm just uh, recording everything that I do on my uh, Excel spreadsheet that I have on the left. Uh, and I'm trying to beat this in easy mode. So I'm just going to go and make a third attempt now. Uh, something that I discovered that I that I didn't know in the previous video is that uh, if the enemy flees, that's going to count as an extra turn. So we want to get rid of the all of the enemies as soon as we can. Another thing to consider is that I'm still I'm this I'm using this kind of media to practice my English. So please bear that in mind if if you guys struggle uh, hearing my. English, the words that I'm saying, please let me know. It it will it is a, a great help to me. And if you guys dislike that, well, I hope that I don't ruin your day or something. I don't know. Let's move on and play another set of rounds of slice and, and dice. I think I should be able to get this done in a pretty short amount of time. Okay. I got to. I spent two minutes doing this, and I. I don't. I don't need to close the video. I guess I can just close this and reopen it and see if I get to hear the, the background noises. There you go. I don't know why, but I didn't. I lost it in the volume before. Okay. Um. What can I use? One reroll per boss, I've used it before, I don't think it's that great, I don't think it, it works towards what we're trying to do. <laughs> I don't think these two heroes are of any use. I was going to consider using Shiny, but this is a bit too bothersome. The only guys that I like is the Squire and the Mystic, the Initiate is a bit too slow for my... for what... We, for what we are trying to achieve here so i'm just going to see if we can do another a one, one reroll and see if we get something better okay so the last makes a lot more damage and the brigand is has a better average number of damage pips than before so that's good um but let's see if we get to oh we get to use the cultist as well he's really good <laughs> i don't know which what the hell this mage is, but I guess we're going to roll with her. And the defenders are really good units, so I think we, unit wise, I think we couldn't have gotten anything better than this. Preparations isn't that good. Boss smash. This could be good. The other one is treasure seeker, but I think this is a bit too. Let's try to. I chose both seeker, didn't I? Can I run and I'm going to go with flash seeker. I was I mean I just stuttered a lot so let me just explain myself. I I got a bit excited and thought that it could be fun to try the 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 thing that lets you have three items then I ended up I ended up picking the other solution by accident. But oh well. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to lose this guy now that I, I think we need to go and take a different approach. Then. I mean I can do this and this can still work. Sure. First fight is going to take us at least two turns. This isn't fantastic, but it is what it is. Two turns, pretty straightforward. Let's see if we can improve. Okay, 
I mean, this guy is not amazing and the Chantress isn't either, but at least we can make the boost and we can have 8 HP instead of whatever the fuck we had before. And this seems to be a pretty straightforward fight. I just need to have... Not this. I need to do 9 damage, basically, right? Uh, so, the Cultist, I think, has enough uh, damage output with this to get rid of one rat. And okay, this works. So I'm just going to spend this like that, and I'm just going to use cut to kill the first rat. I'm just going to use cut on my brigand since he got a shield out of this, and I'm just going to. I want to make the most out of my damage to be sure this doesn't go south. So I'm just going to eat the second turn on my second fight and wait for the first hit of poison to do his job. Okay, this is enough. So up until this point we haven't done anything outstanding. The average of what we need to achieve here is two turns per fight and we need to have five outstanding fights where we only spend uh, one turn so we need to be able to cheese fights so basically follow so okay this is the first fight that i think we're going to have where we're going to struggle a lot just to to achieve what we need to achieve so this should work this is the same setup as the previous fight but we're using, uh, we're fighting against a wolf instead of a goblin. The goblins are good because you can escape from them basically. But this isn't the case for this little, for these wolves. So I'm just going to use the potion that I used for the previous fight on this guy just so I can, uh, just so I can beat the wolf on the first turn and I'm just going to use the cultist spells to get rid of one of the rats. I think uh, best case scenario we're going to finish this in two turns instead of three. Uh, but that guess, I guess that's going to my... Okay, this is good. The defendant is going to be able to provide some supporting damage. The enchanter is going to be able to give us extra damage. Okay, this is a bit sad. Okay, I think we can do this anyways. I'm going to cut my enchanter. I'm going to... We won't be able to do it. We really needed the last to participate into this round of combat. So this is going to turn because two turns and three turns when once the rat escapes. This is um, not exciting news for us. Oh, perfect! Berserk. He hits. He receives a lot of damage with his with his hits, but he's very effective against uh, enemies that you need to do a lot of damage to. So I guess this is our first boss fight, so we're getting the extra one to all of our pips. And honestly, I think this is... This is already making me feel... Uh, glad... For taking the decisions that I took, because... These trolls usually take a lot of turns just to just to defeat like I think about that in my previous video I, I spent like five turns or something ridiculous like that of course I didn't have a cultist of course I didn't have a berserk but still that's a lot right so being able to beat it in two turns is something that makes me feel more that makes me feel more than glad so the friendship place okay so we need to make a decision between these two items one is the friendship bracelet, which I don't think it's amazing, and the other is the wing, or way, I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize. So, making enemies run away is not exciting, so... I guess I'm going to take this. And this is crap for the time being, but maybe it will be different on, on his upgrade of tier 3. To be honest, the, the other two options were already were also awful, so I don't think I'm... I'm losing anything here. Perfect. So 
this is already amaz an amazing start right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to hit my berserk and i'm going to hit the chrome berserk. that way i'm going to be able to do all of the damage and kill him back Ooh. so now we are going to be able to finish this in two turns which is an outstanding but it's it's more than enough for me I'm just going to go up and take this and be done with this. I'm just going to heal the boss so he doesn't lose his HP. And I'm going to move up, up to the to the sixth fight. Okay, so the I don't really love the spell blade, I think he sucks. Like just compare his damage output with the lost. The lost can do one damage in almost all scenarios. He can do two or four damage if he ha if he is in a po uh, positive position, which this this basic this almost never gets to do the four damage. We usually you're usually using this about enemies with six HP, but still that's a, that's really good to do setups where you can do three damage. And for example, in this combat you could use it to finish up the bar the barrel and maybe with some luck get rid of both war sheets which I think we won't be able to do with this combat. And the Evoker, uh, I think, I used to think he was really good, but I think he's bad in, in this scenario for a very different reason. So basically you're limited to use three mana on one of his, his signature movies using three mana to do four damage, which is really good, but you can do the same with the Cultist and you can spread the damage, right? This is forcing you to do the 4 damage on on the top most enemy and the cultist can, I mean, he's going to do 2 damage to the top most enemy with cut, that's for sure, and you need to spend 3 HP, that's also true, right, but you can get to, you can get to do 2 damage to another enemy that gives you a bit more flexibility, you're spending HP like crazy, that's not so true but uh, I don't like the idea of using the spell blade considering that the two people that can benefit from your boost are people that are going to receive more damage but the evoker sucks too so I uh, I don't want to lose a loss for this I'm just going to take to take this and hope I get something better next round because again with the lost and the pff, this is such a perfect all for the loss and the enchanted so i just need to get the berserk to to get one of his good sides and that's all i need to Jesus, Veracruz, to be able to beat the barrel i guess i won't get anything this is i mean this is bad news for me basically this is going to take me either two or four turns which is a far cry for me fantastic Okay, Enchanter, we need that boost. Jesus. I guess we were, we're taking this, we don't have that much of an option. Oi! This is an awful turn for me. So this is going to take us three turns, that's... That's sad, but that's just... We need to start playing a bit. I think we need to start making more aggressive decisions here in order for us to reduce our average. We're barely at fight number six, seven, and we already have an, an average of 1.8, 1 1.4. Uh, turns per, per fight, it's not ideal. Okay, that's perfect, we're already getting a bit of a payoff from our decisions. Okay, I think we're going to do this in, a, in one turn. We got a bit of a breathing room now, so we're going to take that. Okay, I think we're going to take the knight, because the doubler is another uh, promotion for the rogue that is really bad for the damage output. 
and the knight has the added benefit of having three extra damage which is cool and good for us okay we got the best roll dice for the last we got a good enough roll dice for the evokers i guess we're going to, i think we're going to i think we're going to use this Ooh, i think we're going to benefit from doing this anymore then these guys and I think we can get rid of the two or should I just try to reduce all of their okay we can go with that okay we're going with this so we got rid of two guys of two of the three witches uh, in one turn, so that's good. God darn it. Okay, I think this is good enough. Yeah, this is good enough. We're going to beat this in two turns. I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> Should we go for this? All the mana you can give. I mean, we won't be able to do the, the night. He's a nice spell he dies, but. <sighs> what a terrible turn. Uh, so I think we're just getting rid of this guy. some suicide positions I mean this could be good right like I could get, just get him killed and then do that again and get four extra mana and that's really that can be pretty good that's not amazing okay I guess we're keeping this but we're going to switch this up so this so the rock gets to do some That's what that, that's what we're talking about. So, can we get to do some damage, please? Okay, so the electros. Yeah. What a way to die here! Oh my god. Dude, we need you to do some high end damage. 
Christ. So we're not going to get this done in this fight. Worst case scenario, like everyone's dying except for the freaking berserk. Like this fight couldn't have been any anything worse than I initially anticipated. So we're almost running out of spare turns. So that's ranged and chain. Heal three allies with shield and cleanse. That's a bit specific for artist. So what else can we do with this? Eh. Sure, that works. I'm just going to give this back to the invoker. I think it's going to bring you more use of, out of it than anyone else. Thank you. I guess I'm just going to get rid of the rogue, that way him running out of HP isn't an issue for me. I'm just going to start farming one of the two settles. So we're moving up to two turns. Okay. That's good, I think. Yeah, sure, let's get rid of this guy. three turns not even the berserk i mean that's what i was worried i guess i'm just trying to blame the evoker for my for my bad luck but there's a label so what can you do with the options that you are given To lose to die. Mm -hmm. Four turns. That's that's sad. That's just sad. Like we don't have any spare room for bad decisions anymore. Uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Okay, what of these guys suck? I mean, he is, but not, not because he's planning to. That's GG's for us. 
we won't be able to finish the rest of the fights in less than 35 turns since we are behind our schedule by two turns so we're going to take whatever this is and we're just going to flee and restart I'm trying to make these videos to last uh, at least one hour so uh, since we're barely within the 25 minutes limit I'm just going to play another run I doubt I'll play a third one I'm already feeling a bit uh, tired I mean not tired uh, for the day but but enough but enough to be to want to do something else after this so I'm just going to do another one of these I think all of these blessings are a bit bad the thief is a, the thief is a good starting class the brigand is he's the brigand the buckle is good all of the starting units are good but I don't know if we got what it takes to in terms of blessings I'm just going to use the crew first maybe it's useful at some point I don't think I'll get to use it on this fight though sure this works so what we're going to do is leave both wolves alive that's a bit that's a bit sad Maybe my damage output isn't as good as I initially thought it was. Okay, we have a hammer. We have a sword with a shield and we have some mana. We can work with this. There you go. Then we finish the first fight within the first two turns we had we got a berserk early on that's really great news you already saw you already saw what he can do on the first run he does really high amount of damage for the small and humble cost of his HP <laughs> so we're going to try to do this and get away with it again I think we're going to be able to deliver a decent turn, like a, a decent fight, a two turns fight. I think we won't be able to do anything outstanding yet. With him. But a two turn fight is good enough. Mm, any of these trinkets is none of these trinkets is good. a bit stuff. Maybe this can be of some use. Okay. So this is achievable. Like okay, this is not achievable anymore. Or is it? I just need some damage coming from either the buckle or the mystic combined with the student. Or a leader chief. What I need the to use the bow to be able to defeat everyone in the first round and I wasn't able to do it that, that first so I guess we're forced to play this for a two for two turns okay this is good enough but we need the freaking bow This is such an unlucky roll. So now instead of finishing this in two turns, we're going to finish it in three. Which already puts us in a really disadvantageous position. Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. I mean, I made a gamble and it didn't pay off, I guess. So now we're far. So 
now we're fighting a bramble i think this is this was a bit of a bad decision because this this made us have a blessing that it's completely reliant on mana and I have a, a team that is using everything but mana but oh well at least we got damage output enough of enough of a damage output to beat a boss within two turns all of these items really suck Oof, okay, we got really lucky with this. So we're going to be able to increase the damage output of the vampire. Further increasing our overall damage per combat. Yeah, this is fantastic. I think we got all of the damage that we could from this. So we're just going to make the barrel. We're going to finish this in one round, that's amazing. In one turn. Perfect! Okay, we're going to the sixth round. Being able being able to balance out the the third fight. So we're still at an average of two. Okay, let's see what we can what that what we got here. <laughs> I think this is a pretty terrible rogue but it, it has some bows and some swords with three damage overall i think it's good enough for me to jump into him uh, jump into him no i didn't mean that it's he's good enough for me to feel comfortable using him okay so we got a a, a command I don't even know who it is. It's called. I mean, yeah, like a, a square action. And we got a good shield and free damage. So we could defeat the Kronos in this round if we want. But can we do more than that? I mean, I think that the Berserk and the Vampire need to do a good roll over. Oh, this is good enough. Yeah, we can beat this in one turn too as well. This is fantastic. So we're going to defeat crown like this and then we're just going to defeat one of the goblins like this okay we have accomplished yeah this is great okay fantastic okay so the another clean fight so this is one is a bit of a tougher fight overall basically need to do you need a hunter or something that or a or a sparky to defeat the slate which we don't have i mean we could put this into the rock and go with that just so he's just so he isn't as frail as he is right now we can give, let's give it to the berserk so we can do high damage so we can do a high, you know, big amount of a big amount of damage. So this girl can do seven damage. This guy has eight damage. So we need this, this, and this. Hmm. I, I didn't need to make use of the right or it seems like the best way to handle this was just in the right altogether so this is going to be a two round fight which is okay -ish. is it going to be a two round though uh, it's going to be 
get three rounds. Three rounds. Three turns. Okay, so we're going to use a seer instead of a student. So we're going to have high inputs of damage now. Or I mean, I meant man, but I guess we won't get any of that either. Subset of skills to do a lot of damage. We can do true burst, we can do three attacks. One is eight damage, other is three, another is two. Two bursts can become four, can become eight damage if we use them properly. I think we can do this. Okay, so first of all, we have to do this, and second of all, we need to do this. That way we reduce the damage so cruel can be effective. This is the second turn, so this is going to be good enough. I think I should do a rule so so I can see better which rows are good and which ones are not. I'm just going to use this, this is never going to be bad. Let me see if I can do this pretty, pretty quickly enough. Conditionals. Uh, I need to do several conditionals. No, there's. This is good. But we need to select the cell we try we're trying to, to define conditional color scale. We just need to switch this up to green and this needs to be switched to red. We need to define a value. We need to see what the value is. It's two, right? There you go. That's decent enough. Now we have way more visibility on what's not being, uh, affecting and what is being affected. We, we're on the ninth fight. So. Okay, all the colors are distracting me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Power into this. 
is so option three is a monk option four is a guardian i really like monks but i think that we need a guardian in this scenario because we need to be able to actually avoid the burst of receive all the damage that he's usually receiving so it's a shame but he's going to serve us well uh, <laughs> i don't think the rock is giving us enough the damage of what we were usually expecting but it is how it is can we get the damage output no we won't get the damage output we're trying to look for we can still get rid of one of these guys no we can't do that do we can keep the five mana if it's not going to serve us in this run then at least it, we're going to be able to use it in the next one circuit is finally cooperating with us the seer is seeing things okay this should be good enough so what are we planning to do we're planning to get rid of this guy that's good she has six damage so we can put this up down to four get rid of this guy and we are seven mana above what we need, so we're going to finish this anyways. I think we could do the same for this section. I think that could be interesting. The seer won't get anything good out of this. It'll be good for the person. Or it could be good for the vampire too, but I'm not sure. Okay. So this one is achievable and we're already like getting amazing that dice rolls for this. I don't think that the seer is going to get anything out of the third mana peep, so I'm just going to take the second. I think I'm I also want to to grab the guardians. Or, yeah, this is an, an amazing turn for us. So we're going to shoot do this and just spread the damage evenly and have a a nice one round, one turn fight. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to use a raid? She's going. She's one of the few guys that is going to benefit from the plus one damage in the guard i mean this one's decent this one is something you don't really want to use and basically it's basically the same for her same for her she doesn't have damage she doesn't get damage i think the raid is one of the few elements that can make use of the damage the extra damage output but to be fair with you do you need five damage this fight you need four you're already getting four with with the great so you're not getting anything out of this and if we win if we need four damage we can use the right i think i'm going to go with the warlord and just put this natural stone to him so he always gives us good value i could even give him the extra two hp or something like that uh, we can figure that out later So we could place these guys. That's an option we're given. We have been given. Okay. Vampire gives us. Okay, that's fine. That's useful actually. So this guy doesn't have as much of a HP regen. Shame we didn't get to properly use this. We are we getting yeah we're getting our warlock locked from his best options. That's not something we want to see. Yeah, we need to have a we need to have a higher amount of mana, man. We need to be able to place him. We got the hey, sorcerer's hat, so that's good. We can do whatever we need to in the next round. 
now but it's going to be way harder with that minus one we're already in our third turn with this boss this is such a slow burn this is this is just starting to take a toll on the team performance some service you know what I mean? sure so this is going to take us turns. yeah this is making everything else look good but it's not plus one to the middle side that let us cheese through the enemies I think this is the first one that we can have shield, repel, rampage, rescue that's exactly what we need we're going to use this and this and this no, you need to search case scenario that's what we're trying to that's what we're getting at so this is going to be a three turns fight we already fucked up that's a bit of a shame okay that was a uh, Far shorter than any initially expected, but it is what it is. I think we need to just quit and start from scratch again. but I just want to see what happens if I do this. <laughs> Maybe I should have given the, the bonus to the enemies. That's three damage. Come on, dude. Okay, what can we get from this? A lot of bull crap. Let's take this one and pray it doesn't become anything worse than this. Yeah, this would have been amazing 
これThat we will know what, what are going to be, right? So that's great. So that's four mana, four more mana than we need this to be, and we got sugar. This is going to take us at least two turns. I think this is going to take us more than two turns. trying to get the most amount of damage and the least amount of time as possible. That's good, that's great. Supporting mana character was really good, which was really fun. For example, Miscount already. This is big. This is poorly. This is a poor tool. Can I do this? I think I can get away with doing this. Can I? Or maybe even this. Okay, so this one is a specific. This one specifically made. Low jobs. <laughs> Turn out to deliver fatal blows. <laughs> I'll hope nobody hears this. Okay, that's perfect. That's a one turn combat, which is fantastic. And then I think I can. I will choose the warden. The warden has more fighting options, and now he has three fighting options. And 
now he's a fighter and I really hope this doesn't bite me Perfect. That's more than perfect. That's very useful. his second turn <sighs> this is really way too slow I mean that's what you get when you get to fight this enemies <laughs> is this going to take me four turns? The Wanderer. Okay. So I'm almost past my hour of gameplay. So. So what can I do here? Ugh, I have a slime burn and then I have to fight a spider. I don't want a spider to fight a spider because that's exactly what's going to happen and I don't have the sustained damage to, to face things, to face against that. Thank you. 
go. That's eight damage. That's nine damage. That can be up to thirteen damage, and that is above the HP pool that he has. I think that was a two move. A combat that contained two turns. Uh, the wizard sucks, so I don't really want to use him. The poet is kind of good though. So, no, I don't really want to use the hammer anymore because it's kind of crap compared to anything else. Which is fine because I get to get extra, some extra damage for my assassin. For my assassin. That's good. I think I'm taking this. I think I'm taking this. But can I take anything better from him? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Perfect. So now I can get to do this twice. Because I don't think I can do anything about this guy. Yeah, that's exactly. good. Go. Did I chase him in the first round? That's exactly what happened. Perfect. So now we get to move forward to the next round. So can we set this? Can we, can we set anything to twos and get an improvement out of it? Uh, I guess we can only do it with the enchanter, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, that's good enough. Run is not, the first turn is not going to be enough, so we're going to the second. But are we going to get anywhere here with the second one? I think I'm just going to use the six man. I don't think I can do anything better with him. No, I can't. And I get an improvement in damage, so for the assassin, nope, I can't. here on one turn if we want this to continue. turns and we can still fight but it's not going to be something very doable which is whatever we can still try it anyways This 
Spells is going to help me. This, on the other hand, is also going to be unable to help me, but I'm going to give it to the Griever anyways. Ugh, the Slates have been such a wrong killer for me. I'm almost convinced that I need to go with a Hunter on my following attempts. The Wanderer was a really good uh, potential to get rid of the slates. I just didn't get as lucky as I needed. Okay, I'm just going to finish this video with my units pulling in. If you got to the last part of this video, well, thank you very much for joining me into this, let's call it experience. and. Let's see if I upload something else in the future or not. Bye.